We're coming into Campbellsville right now, and what's Campbellsville? Well, it's got a lot of cool stuff. It's about 70 miles from a lot of different things. Lexington, Louisville, Bowling Green. Those are the top three cities in Kentucky. They also have Campbellsville University, which is actually a big deal. So I'm gonna just kind of show you where we are. We're gonna go right down this road for about a mile and a half, and we're gonna be at the house. This is an affordable house. Somebody's looking for an affordable house. This is a manufactured home. It's a, actually a, a single wide mobile home, if you wanna call it that. I haven't used the term in a long time, but we all use it. We all know what it is. And um, if you're looking for an affordable house, this is it. All I did was dump a U-turn there. You know what an O-turn is, right? First you thought you were gonna do a U-turn and then you decided to change your mind. Anyway, that was a, just a U-turn. <laughs> Here's Campbellsville University. They're kind of taking over. Uh, they really are. They're, they're doing, they're growing leaps and bounds. And I'm just gonna buzz down here just to kind of show you the downtown, which is cute as heck. Um, you're just a block or so off of the, the main drag there route 68 which is the route 66 of kentucky it is a scenic byway and it goes through the whole town or goes through the whole state diagonally and this downtown is just as cute as it can be they got some really nice shops uh they got you know local stuff like a local barbecue joint and all kinds of good shops there's the green room which is a day spa and and then there's an antique shop around the corner, um, coffee shop, that sort of thing. And this brand new courthouse. You see the steeple up there? It's pretty nice, the cupola. It's actually made here in Campbellsville uh, by what they call the steeple people. I'll put a link here to them. They do all kinds of really cool steeples. So there's plenty of jobs here in Taylor County. And you've got a big, beautiful lake. You've got a golf course, country club, you know, there's plenty here to do. But what they really are proud of is their jobs. We got a lot of jobs here. We got one of the very first Amazon distribution centers here too. Well, you saw what the mobile home looks like, uh, or the manufactured home. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to put a quarter in the jar at my office. You saw what that looks like here at the beginning of the video. So this is, just a drive up. Everybody seems to like these drive ups. They want to know what does the area look like. There's the road department and a lot of little restaurants around and a lot of boating and boat storage and, and that sort of thing because the lake is literally just three miles past this house. You're right at the, um, at the boat launch. I'll put a picture of that right here. cute little antique shop there we like Campbellsville just fine it's Taylor County and we're almost there we're gonna turn up here and just a quarter mile now, there's a brand new Dollar General there and it is about 800 feet away there it is there and it's about 800 feet away. Oh, by the way, Campbellsville is the county seat, of course. It's the largest town and the county seat in Taylor County. And here we are. It's a nice community. It's uh, what we call an all age community. Here's the home directly across the street. Uh, they gotta pick up a bag of garbage though, so it looks terrible, I'm gonna wait. And then this is all expansion here. Uh, they're gonna be bringing new homes in. I can run you down this street here. We can kind of just see what the what the community's like. People have nice homes, they keep them nice. I'm gonna get into all the benefits here in just a second. It's hard for me to drive and videotape and think. Heck, it's hard enough for me to think. Hard to chew gum and walk at the same time. There's the water department. So if you ever get a, 
a problem with uh, with one of the water lines or something like that. They come and just walk across the street. We actually had them hook up a new water meter and they just walk right across the street. So that's kind of fun. Now some of these homes are fairly new. We've got a couple new, brand new ones coming in. So if you like this one, great. If you don't, we got a brand new one coming in. Uh, in fact, there'll be two or three coming in here in the next month or so. All right, where was I? There we go. Got waylaid there for a second. So when you're in a mobile home community, you've got a sense of community, right? So people will watch after your stuff uh, when you're not around. You can hang out with your friends. I mean, not everybody's gonna be friends, but <clears throat> when you're in an apartment, you're sharing a wall with somebody. So you know exactly, this is the house right here next to the creek and there's woods in the back. Those are not our woods. So when you're here, this is just here. When you have an apartment, you're sharing the wall with somebody. So if they smoke, they're smokers, you're smelling smoke. If they're making Italian food, you're, you're smelling Italian food, which is probably not a bad deal. <laughs> I'm gonna see what I got here little creek here and before i even start here telling you all the benefits about uh mobile homes i am not defending them i'm not being and i'm not being defensive about it either i want to just point out some things that you may know you may not know about uh mobile home living they yeah it has a stigma uh but the stigma is bs and i can show you why and I'll tell you more about it here when I go on inside. It's about being able to make your bills. That's what it's about. You want to talk about affordable. Maybe you've got a, a family member like, like Cindy's dad. The nursing home wants $5,500 a month. That's crazy. You could absolutely live in a place like this, have somebody come by three times a week. What would be crazy about that? Nothing. The kids can play all out in here. That's all ours. That's all part of the community there. People keep their homes up nice and clean. So let's see, what are, what are some more benefits about uh, mobile home living? Well, the cost. Maybe you got some uncle or your dad or whatever saying that all oh, mobile homes uh, don't appreciate, but neither does an apartment. So the average uh, apartment rent here in Kentucky is 906 for the state. So a home like this is gonna be, what, 495 total, 475 a month total. Well, that includes lot rent and everything. The lot rent here is two and a quarter right now. And it goes up from time to time. And the home is 257. So if the house is 250, that payment goes away after a while. Here, let me see if I can get this a little wider. There you go. Uh, that payment goes away after a while. And then you just got lot rent. Well, they did a great job on this. Josh does all our work for us. This is all new, what they call LVP, luxury vinyl plank. So it's uh, waterproof. It's not Pergo. Pergo's got that fuzz board stuff to it. If you get it wet, you're toast. Well, this is not that way at all. This is waterproof. This all new countertop. Uh, I, I guess they painted the, the cabinets. They did a great job in here. That's beautiful. Okay, back to what I was saying. You got that 250 that's gonna go away. $900 a month, you're not gonna have any anything going on there. This home, it, so, okay, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. If this was a brand new home, you'd be in the 50s and you'd be here 20 years and it'd still be worth 20 or 30,000. So then you've got $20,000 to put on for a new house, right? So you get a used mobile home. They're fantastic because they are already depreciated and they don't go down that much more. Perfect case in point. This house is going to be like 17 and change. You put your, your upfront money, your down money, and you're looking at $15,000 is what you owe. In 10 years, this house will still be worth twelve dollars to $15,000, provided you take good care of it and, and keep it up. It's still going to be worth twelve dollars 15 grand. That's not too bad. It's a whole lot cheaper than apartment living with a whole lot more privacy. You got a yard, you can plant flowers, you can park close to your door. I mean, that's a big thing, right? So 
uh, even our son, he was, when he was in college, he was renting an apartment and he had to walk so far. It was a pain in the neck because he had to walk in the rain and the cold and all that stuff. You don't have to worry about that. You can park right here. And I love this LVP. First of all, I like the color. It's like a, almost like a gun stock. Beautiful pattern. And, um, and it's waterproof. That Dagon Pergo stuff with the fuzz board, first thing they say is don't get it wet. My gosh, what's the first thing you do with floor? You mop it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, enough about my rant on, uh, on the LVP. I really like it, and I think you will too. Reasonable house, beautiful community. It's, uh, it's good and safe here. Um, a lot of families. A lot of families been here for, oh my God, a couple decades. So um, anyway. I think you'll like it here. Give us a call. Phone number's right there, and we will get you in this home. Twenty about twenty five hundred dollars upfront money, about four ninety five, four seventy five, four ninety five a month. About seven years. I'll put all the details down here. But about seven years, it's all paid for. Beautiful spot, and this is the ugliest time of the year. So if you like it now, you're gonna love it come spring. Oh, oh, and one more thing. Don't forget, if you want a brand new home, we got brand new homes too. We've got brand new homes here in Taylor County and we got brand new homes in Boyle County, which is Danville. Real pretty place. Here, oh, I gotta show you one, one more thing before I, I forget. If you go right up here, let me see. Hold on, hold on. If you go right up here and make a right three miles and you're at the boat ramp, at, at the marina uh, or the boat ramp. If you like boating, you got room to put your boat in here and you can just run on out there, your kayak, and you can be on the water in literally five, six minutes. Pretty sweet. Oh, and don't forget about the university. It's just right up there in town, mile and a half away, Dollar General, 800 feet away. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. You know I do. Love y'all. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.